Hi, this is Murray, reporting from Berlin, and uh, this is part two of my using React hooks with D3 series. And uh, in this video, I want to show you how to draw a line chart with D3. In the last video, I was explaining how to set up D3 in React with the use ref and use effect hook. And I was also explaining how D3 handles your data and how it handles creating and updating and removing elements for you based on your data with the new join API. We were drawing some basic circles in an SVG to explain what is the so-called general update pattern. And in this video, I want to show you how to draw the line of a line chart. Uh, we will not be focusing on the grid you can see here in the background, and we will also not be focusing on the axes. Uh, the axes we will actually handle in the next video. To uh, draw a connected line in an SVG, you actually uh, have two options. You either use a polyline element, or you use um, a path element. And we're going to go with the uh, path element because it is more powerful and you can actually curve the line we want to draw later. And uh, the syntax or yeah, the markup of a path element usually looks like this. You say path and give it an attribute D. And the D attribute, this is where you define uh, how your path um, is drawn, where it starts, where it goes, and uh, basically where it ends. And this is a collection of all the dots you want to uh, have on your path. And it uh, basically could look like this, like uh, go to um, uh, 0, 150, and then go to 100, uh, 100, and then 150, uh, 120 or something. And I'm just going to give it a, a blue stroke and fill none like this. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, comment out my circles I have here. Yeah, this is basically uh, what we need to understand uh, before building our path with D3. So now let's uh, start building our path element with uh, D3. Just going to remove this. And then I'm going to import something called line from D3. And the uh, line is actually going to help us with the D attribute of our path element, which is going to be shaped like a line. And it works like this. We go ahead and say const my line equals line. And uh, this is where we have to handle this. We have to tell our line based on the data it gets, where do we want to render each dot on our line? And first, we're going to start with the x coordinate. And we're going to say, OK, based on the value and maybe even the index of uh, that value in our data array, we want um, the x coordinate of each dot to be um, index, the index of that value times 50. And I want the y coordinate of each dot on our line to be the value uh, of yeah the, the value of that element in our data array like so um, my line is actually a function that will uh, generate the d attribute of our path element based on the uh, data it gets so we will now have to generate a path element and attach the d attribute we get from my line to that path element so just like with the uh, circles from my last video, I now have to uh, go ahead and say, hey, uh, D3, uh, select all the uh, path elements you find in my SVG and uh, synchronize them with the data I'm giving you here. And in this case, I actually have to wrap my entire data array in another array because I don't want S um, I don't want D3 to generate a new path element for every element in my data array. I just want one path element for my entire um, data array. And uh, yeah, now I have to go ahead and say join path. So basically, 
create a new path element for every entering piece of data, for every new piece of data. And uh, please attach the attribute to every um, entering and updating element, the attribute D, with uh, the value, which is going to be a callback in this case. And this callback will receive our entire uh, data array as uh, an argument. argument. So this argument will actually forward to my line. This uh, will basically then return the, the, um, the attribute we need and attach it to our path element. So if I save this, now we can actually see some shape here. And uh, to clean that up, I will set another attribute, uh, fill none, and another attribute, stroke blue. So now you can see we actually rendered um, a connected line based on our data. Now I have a path element with uh, dots at 0, 25, uh, 50, 30, 145, 150, 60, and 220. I will just quickly add some more values to my um, data array to make it fill the entire um, SVG, um, which is 300 by 150. And then uh, I actually want my line chart here to start from the bottom. So I will fix the Y values. I will just subtract the value I have from 150, the total height. Uh, okay, and then I just want to curve it. And curving is pretty simple. You just add curve to your um, line function and define how you want to curve it. And I want to curve it with curve uh, cardinal, which I then just pass here. Ta-da! We have a beautiful curved line chart. And guess what? Um, updating still works. Uh, you can actually see what this uh, line function is generating for us. It's uh, so much heavy lifting and so much black magic. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, even filtering. So that's it for this video. Um, I hope you liked it. And uh, in the next one, I will show you how to um, draw some axes in your charts or in this chart. So uh, yeah, hope to see you then. Bye.